Ogden and the Magic Lamp Once upon a time, there was a boy named Aladdin, who lived far in the east. He lived with his mother and supported her by selling fruits in the market. One day, the palace magician came to the market looking for him. Come with me Aladdin. I have something to show you. He said. Aladdin went with him. The magician led him deep into the desert, to the mouth of a massive cave which was blocked by a huge rock. The magician stopped and began to cast a spell. Sala Sala Paprika. Elabra. And the massive rock moved. The magician said. Go into the cave and bring me golden lamp. Touch nothing but the lamp. Take this ring. It will protect you if anything goes wrong. The magician was afraid to go inside due to the dark passage. Aladdin went into the cave that was overflowing with gems and gold coins. He found the lamp and thought. Why does the magician want something so old and worthless? I should take one for my mother as well. The moment Aladdin snatched the treasure, the whole cave began to shake and rumble. He took the lamp and ran to the mouth of the cave. The magician refused to help him and wanted the lamp first. Meanwhile, the opening closed. Aladdin was left alone and he cried. It is so cold and dark here. I want my mother. He mindlessly rubbed the lamp he was holding and it suddenly began to glow. A genie appeared and took him home. Aladdin told his mother about the magician and the adventure and said. Mother, take a look at this magic lamp. His mother rubbed it and the genie appeared. He asked them for a wish. Aladdin commanded him for some delicious food like the palace, and within a moment, Tasty dishes appeared before him. The genie's magic made Aladdin wealthy, and one day he went to the sultan with magnificent gifts. Your Majesty, I have come to ask for your daughter's hand in marriage. He asked, the sultan was pleased but the daughter was not. He asked genie to help him and took the sultan's daughter on a ride through the sky and they had a wonderful time. Meanwhile, the magician realized Aladdin had the magic lamp and asked the sultan to ask Aladdin to raise a new palace. The princess opened her heart to Aladdin as she was touched by his kindness and the beauty he showed her. As soon as they returned, sultan asked Aladdin to build a new palace. Aladdin asked the genie to build him a palace. And within a moment, a beautiful palace stood in front of him. Aladdin was now able to marry the princess. One day, the magician came to Aladdin's house while he was out hunting. He said to the princess, disguised as a merchant, I can exchange an old lamp with the new one. The princess exchanged the magic lamp for a new one and the magician's plan worked. The magician wanted Aladdin's palace and the princess for himself and asked the genie to move them both to a far-off desert. Aladdin was surprised to find everything vanished, when he returned. Finally he heard about the magician's plan and went to his palace. The princess found Aladdin and told him everything. They slipped a sleeping pill into the magician's wine. As soon as the magician drifted to sleep, Aladdin rubbed the lamp and asked the genie to return his palace to its place with the princess. They left the magician in the desert, who was never heard from again. One day, Aladdin brought the lamp to the shore and rubbed it. The genie asked, What is your wish? Aladdin replied, You have granted all my wishes. I want to repay you and set you free. The genie cried. In all my days as a servant, no one has ever wished anything for me. The genie was free and Aladdin tossed the lamp into the sea. 
He lived his life with love and happiness, without any greed. Moral of the story. Do not be greedy, and live your life bring true to yourself. Aladdin and the Magic Lamp.